Greg Stanford. In my opinion, he is pretty much the dean of black columnists at the Milwaukee Journal and the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. When I first came in 1981, he was already well established as a voice of the black community. And he was someone that I basically looked up to and sought to not duplicate, but to stay true to what he was doing when I became a columnist years later. I think the thing that most impressed me about Greg Stanford is that he was in demand as a speaker. I think it was in the 80s or so, and he gave a talk at a university or some sort of program where they gave him an actual large amount of money. And I was impressed when I heard that he donated that to what I believe was one of the beginning scholarship funds for the Wisconsin Black Media Association. So in my mind, that was always really a true mark of the kind of man Greg Stanford was. He did not let his personal thoughts get in the way of facts. And that's a true journalist to me. And that's what he is. Uh, and that's what I noticed about him and I appreciate it. So he. He, I, I guess today you would call it old school, which is, uh, which is the way we did it back then, and the way he did it. And you could always learn something. He would always leave you with some information, something you didn't know. Yeah, and Greg was obviously a vital uh, player on the editorial board. Sports teams talk about impact players. He was an impact player all the way. Um, he had a powerful voice and uh, was a fighter for the community. There was, there was a, I didn't go to this meeting, but there was a story about uh, Governor Thompson, Tommy Thompson, coming in to talk to the editorial board, and uh, he spent, apparently spent much of the time scolding Greg for editorials he had disagreed with. And I think Greg, I know Greg took to heart uh, that old quote about journalists, that they are there to uh, comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. I think Greg's a very good journalist. He's very thoughtful. He's a good writer. He's always very curious. Um, he knows about a lot of different subjects that he can discuss. You may not realize that he knows about such a variety of subjects, but he does. I think he's a very good journalist, and, and I'm, I regret that we don't have him writing for a media outlet right now.